Well, my thanks to Marty. This is a quick, short, hooray, I, I did it video. My son was out here yesterday and we tried to understand the SIOC script and how to get that script uh, to work with Marty's um, program, the ProSim 737. <laughs> and we just, for the life of us, couldn't get the keys to work. Threw our hands up in the air. For those of you who are thinking about purchasing the Open Cockpits FMC RCDU, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's um, <laughs> once you figure it out, it's actually not that bad. But if you're a computer dunce like I am, that's a different story. You notice yesterday when we were pressing buttons and doing all of that, we couldn't get virtually anything to work at all. And if you notice now, gee whiz, things are working fine. Um, now it's learning how to program it, but I did this for Marty because he's been in communication uh, for the better part of the afternoon uh, Pacific time, and he's in the Netherlands, I believe, and it's like an eight hour time differential. So, Marty, there it is. Um, thanks again for your help. And basically, guys and gals, that's what you get from Marty, uh, the developer of the ProSim 737. Um, he's just a fantastic person, and I'm sure he's trying to work on his ProSim and get other things uh, corrected and fixed up and added on to without uh, me hassling him because he didn't really have to do this, but he, he kind of walked me through it. And once I sat down and said, "Okay, this is <laughs> this is the way it's going to be. Thank you very much." Um, obviously it worked, which means now I can, knowing how to do this thing, actually get another one and take the dummy out and uh, pretty well wrap this thing up. Now I still have to backlight the the keys, but they give you a diagram with a 10 pin connector and so there shouldn't really be a problem there at all because everything's all wired inside the LEDs are wired uh, it's just uh, putting the connector on and running the connector to where you have to run it to um, so again like I said short video uh, another bug out of our hair so to speak and so now uh, as you can probably tell, <laughs> it's kind of dark in here. This is a low-light camera. I hope you can see things. But our time, it's pitch black outside. I'm sitting at McCarran. And somebody was urging me to get the um, Las Vegas program. Uh, it's not Mega Scenery, but it's uh, Dream... Um, DreamWorks or <laughs> something like that, a developer who uh, actually develops software for various airports. He said, uh, oh guys, you got to get the McCarran one. And um, Junior Mafia, you're right, uh, compared to the um, compared to the uh, default Las Vegas this thing is just super and as you can see you can see the ground 
actually at this airport where you can't on the default scenery uh, at all. That's the one thing I, I really didn't like about Flight Simulator X was the fact that um, you come into the airport and you can't see. Uh, and as you can see, uh, the detail of this airport is quite fantastic. Anyway, enough said for right now. I promised that I'd put the video on so I'd be able to see everything was working fine. Hey guys, thanks for watching and we'll keep you updated on the sim.